Hello my divine kings and queens, I am back to do another video and today we're going to be talking about trusting in God's promises for you. Um, and trusting God's promises for you, right? It's, it's a knowing, right? It's that inner knowing that what you were promised, you will have. Sometimes it's hard because of what we're faced with in this world to believe that God will set up these promises and for our life, that God will place us in a position to where not only we succeed and we are striving for greatness, but that we are very successful in accomplishing and what it is that he has uh, in store for our lives. And becoming successful in accomplishing this could very well mean what God has in store for you is to be a generational curse breaker of your family, to step out on faith and start this um, venture, right? That is going to reach and teach a lot of people, heal a lot of people. Um, it could very well mean speaking your truth, um, stepping in your purpose, whatever it is you are or believing that you will be successful at it. And trusting the God's promises for your life is in knowing that you're putting all your faith in him. You're putting all your faith in the most high to carry out what it is that he said that he will carry out for your life. It does not matter what you go through. It does not matter who say that you are undeserving of. It doesn't matter who go up against you. You move with that inner knowing. You move with the knowledge. You move knowing that God is keeping his promises to you, knowing that it's only a matter of time before they manifest into your life, knowing that it's only a matter of time before he show up, knowing that it's only a matter of time before he moves you, before he bless you, before he elevates you, before you transform, knowing that it's only a matter of time. He will always place you in a position to where you are thinking of the next best thing of what it is that you have to do that's going to take you to the next level of your life. And you are able, because you're blessed with the resources and the tools, to bring these plans into fruition. He is blessing you to have this knowledge. He is blessing you to have the resources and the tools and the capability and the ability and the people and the support and the backing that you need to get to where it is that he promised you you would be. Trusting keeping your faith, believing, praying, hoping, holding on to his word, holding on to the promises that you know that he plans and intends to keep. You trust that he is going to do what it is that he said that he would do. When you're faced with trying times, and you don't know what's going to become of your life. It is in that moment that God shows up and reveals himself to you because he wants you to trust him and hold on to him. It's in him showing you that he is real, that he is with you, that he is walking with you, that you are never alone. You can rely on God and his promises each and every day, no matter what it is that we go through. And see in Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8, it says, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. We do not have to be concerned about putting our trust in God. Because we understand that the Lord is trustworthy in all his promises, that he is faithful in all that he does, right? We understand, we understand that the Lord is trustworthy in his promises and that he is faithful in everything that it is, in everything that he does. He is faithful in everything that he does for our lives. Everything that he do, everything that he do, everything that he says, every place that he positions us to be. We can trust that God will keep his promises, that he will come through and do what it is that he said he would do. He would never leave you alone to face this evil alone. He would never leave you alone to face this evil. He would never leave you alone to face setbacks, to face delays by yourself. There are some things of which you cannot see, some things of which you cannot fight alone. You understand what I'm saying? So he will never leave nor forsake you or leave you out there on that battlefield to fight these battles alone. Some battles he will even excuse you from because it's not yours, it's his. And he's going to fight them on your behalf. So come with me. You can trust in God's promises for your life. 
You can trust that what it is that he said he would do, he will do, and he will come through for you. Just remain dutiful, remain faithful, the same as he's do as he has done for you, the same that is he that he is doing for you, right? And continue to push forward and step into what it is that he has for you. Um, God has big plans for your life. You just have to wake up every day and know that it is coming. Don't focus. Just put your faith in, in him and release it and go on about your day, go on about your life knowing that he is coming through for you, that he will come through for you, that you are never alone. You will always have what you need to get through. So understand that, know that, believe that, never forget that. And until next time, stay prayed up and be blessed. I love you.